The future of war is already here, and it's smaller than anyone expected. Not tanks, not jets, but drones. Cheap, deadly, everywhere. And now, the United States has unveiled the weapon built to kill them. It's not a missile defense shield. It's not a billion-dollar stealth jet. It's a mobile killer that rolls with the troops, armed with a 30-millimeter cannon, radar, sensors, and the power to blind or destroy anything in the sky. They call it M-Lids and Mattis. And after their stunning debut in the Philippines, the world is paying attention. Before we dive in, if you believe America must stay ahead in the drone arms race, type yes in the comments right now. The drone revolution changed war forever. From Ukraine to the Middle East, cheap quadcopters and kamikaze drones are destroying tanks, artillery, even billion-dollar ships. They don't need pilots, they don't need runways, and they don't need to cost millions. For the first time in history, a $2,000 drone can cripple a $2 million armored vehicle. That's why the Pentagon knows drones are not the future threat. They are the present. And without new defenses, every soldier, every convoy, every base is vulnerable. The Army's answer is the mobile, low, slow, small UAS integrated defeat system. They call it MLIDS. It looks like an armored vehicle with a turret, but it's a layered counter drone system. At long range, it can jam. At medium range, it can lock with sensors. And if the drone survives, the 30 mm XM914 cannon finishes the job. It's mobile, it's fast, it moves with frontline forces. Unlike giant missile batteries, MLIDS isn't tied to bases. It goes where the troops go and brings its shield with it. But the Marines had their own idea the Marine Air Defense Integrated System, MADIS. In April 2025, during exercise Balikatan in the Philippines, the Marines showed it off for the first time, live, in action. Mounted on the JLTV, MADIS MK-1 brings a 30mm cannon, Stinger missiles, EO-IR sensors, and advanced radar. It hunts drones the way the Warthog hunts tanks. MADIS Mach-2 doesn't fire weapons, it blinds the enemy, radar, electronic warfare, command and control. Together Mark I and Mark II form a hunter-killer team. One sees, one shoots, both destroy. The Philippines was no random choice. It sits on the front lines of the South China Sea. And during Balikatan 25, with US and Philippine forces training side by side, Mattis rolled out publicly. It didn't just demonstrate power, it demonstrated partnership. For the Philippine military, this was the first glimpse of a counter-drone shield that could one day protect their own bases and islands. For the Marines, it was proof. Mattis can deploy quickly, operate in tropical environments, and integrate with allies. The message was clear. America isn't just preparing to fight drones, it's preparing to fight them in the Indo-Pacific. So what makes MLIDs and Mattis different? They don't rely on one weapon. They rely on layers. Radars sweep the sky for small drones. Electro-optical sensors track their movement. Electronic warfare systems jam their signals. And if they get too close, the 30mm cannon shreds them out of the sky. Some versions even integrate Stinger missiles, giving them reach against higher altitude targets. This layered approach means drones can be stopped before they ever reach soldiers, a defense net that moves with the fight. These systems aren't just military experiments. They're backed by some of America's most aggressive defense innovators. Anduril Industries, the same company making AI drone interceptors, secured a $200 million contract to keep upgrading MADIS. Their Anvil Interceptor Drone and Lattice AI software are already being integrated. For MLIDS, the Army is evolving beyond the original two-vehicle setup. Soon, the system will mount entirely on a striker platform. Smaller crew, more mobility, better reliability. The race isn't just to build, it's to constantly evolve. The timing is no accident. Russia's war in Ukraine has shown how devastating drones can be. China's rapid military buildup includes swarms of UAVs, and every rebel group, militia, or terror cell now has access to off-the-shelf drones. That means counter-drone warfare isn't optional, it's essential. By testing Mattis in the Philippines, the Marines sent a warning across the Pacific. America is not just ready for drone warfare, it's already fighting it. The timing is no accident. Russia's war in Ukraine has shown how devastating drones can be. China's rapid military buildup includes swarms of UAVs, 
and every rebel group, militia, or terror cell now has access to off-the-shelf drones. That means counter-drone warfare isn't optional, it's essential. By testing MADIS in the Philippines, the Marines sent a warning across the Pacific. America is not just ready for drone warfare, it's already fighting it. Ukraine taught the world a brutal truth. Drones aren't just surveillance tools anymore. They are artillery spotters, suicide bombers, electronic warfare scouts. In the Middle East, U.S. bases have already been attacked by waves of kamikaze drones. Some were shot down, others slipped through. And in the Pacific, reconnaissance drones routinely shadow U.S. Navy ships, testing response times. Each of these encounters provided hard lessons. Radar alone isn't enough. Missiles are too expensive to waste on $500 drones, and static defenses can be bypassed. That's why systems like MLIDs and MADIS are different. They're mobile, they're layered, and they're designed specifically for the messy, unpredictable drone threats soldiers face right now. These aren't prototypes waiting for the future. They are battlefield solutions forged out of today's combat realities. Here's the twist. MLIDs and MADIS are only the beginning. The next step is directed energy. Lasers that burn drones out of the sky at the speed of light. Systems that never run out of ammo. And once lasers are mounted on these vehicles, the battlefield changes again. Because the drone war is escalating, and the United States is racing to stay one step ahead. The battlefield has changed. The enemy is smaller, cheaper, harder to see. But with MLIDs and MADIS, America is proving that every drone has a counter. From the skies over the Philippines to future conflicts across the world, these systems are redefining air defense. This is Startoscop. If you found this breakdown insightful, hit subscribe for more deep dives into the weapons shaping tomorrow's wars. And let me know in the comments, would you trust Mattis or MLIDs to protect your troops?